An upgrade and remodel is coming to the Juvenile Justice Center facility that serves Benton and Franklin counties. And this has been discussed for quite a while now. Cap KV's Riley Fitzgerald joins us live in studio to talk about these upgrades. Riley, what does this project entail? Good morning, Jill. It's been a long process in the works. According to Robert Blaine, Director of Operations and Capital Project with, with Benton County, Benton County is putting $21 million into this project. Franklin County is participating through a Memorandum of Understanding, which costs a yearly use fee and the standard numbers for operation at the Juvenile Justice Center. This is not a small project. Not only does the structure itself need some updating, but also the programming. Blaine says a lot of the systems are now at the end of useful life, or even past it. He also says this is an update that has been decades in the making. Yeah, when you come into the building, if uh, you get an opportunity to see it, uh, walking into the facility, you can tell that it is built in 1978 and uh, the finishes are all the same. Um, there's not been a lot of upgrades or remodels. Those orange shelves, water damaged ceilings, chipping walls, and a high need for upgraded security. Those are all things that they say that they're looking to fix. The last remodel came in 1996, almost 20 years after the building was constructed. However, in the past 30 years, officials say it hasn't needed an update. Coming up on Good Morning Northwest in about half an hour, we'll talk about the timeline officials say this project is working under. Live in studio, I'm Riley Fitzgerald.